Jesus the prophet like unto Moses, Deuteronomy chapter 18 verse 15. The Lord your God will raise up for you a prophet like me from among your own brothers. You must listen to him. A comparison of the lives of Moses and Jesus of Nazareth reveals at least 50 elements common to both lives, many of which were beyond the ability of any human to control. Consider the unusual multiple roles that Moses and Jesus both played, prophet, priest, lawgiver, teacher, and a leader of men. Both taught new truths from God, and both confirmed their teaching with miracles. Both spent their early years in Egypt, supernaturally protected from evil kings who sought their lives. Moses' family initially did not accept his role, but later his brother Aaron and sister Miriam helped him. Jesus' brothers and sisters initially failed to follow Jesus, but later his brother James became leader in the church in Jerusalem. Each of them was considered the wisest man of his day. Both confronted demonic powers and successfully subdued them. Moses appointed 70 rulers to rule Israel, Jesus anointed 70 disciples to teach the nations. Moses sent 12 spies to explore Canaan, Jesus sent 12 apostles to reach the world with the gospel. Both fasted for 40 days and faced spiritual crises on mountain tops. Just as Moses stretched out his hand over the Red Sea to command it to part to save the Israelites, so Jesus rebuked the Sea of Galilee and quieted the waves to save his disciples. Both of their faces shone with the glory of heaven Moses on Mount Sinai and Jesus on the Mount of Transfiguration. While Moses rescued Israel from the dead religion of pagan Egypt, Jesus rescued Israel from the dead letter of the law of tradition. Moses and Christ cured lepers and proved their spiritual authority through the miracles they performed before many witnesses. Moses conquered Israel's great enemy, the Amalekites, with his appraised arms. Jesus conquered our great enemies of sin and death by his appraised arms on the cross. Moses lifted up the brazen serpent in the wilderness to heal his people. Jesus was lifted up on the cross to heal all believers from their sin. Despite the spiritual leadership of Moses and Jesus, the Jewish people were ungrateful to both men and rebelled against them. Both generations that rebelled against the two men sent from God died due to their lack of faith. One generation died in the wilderness of Sinai and the other died in the siege of Jerusalem in 70 AD. Moses promised that God would send his people another prophet. Jesus promised his church that his father would send another comforter, the Holy Spirit. On the 14th day of the month of Nisan, which was the feast of the Passover, both Moses and Jesus freed all who would trust them. On the 17th day, the feast of first fruits, Moses brought about the resurrection of the children of Israel by taking them through the parted Red Sea. On the feast of first fruits, Jesus ensured the resurrection of all believers by becoming the symbolical first fruits of the resurrection as he rose from the dead. Fifty days after the Jews passed through the Red Sea on the Feast of Pentecost, God gave Israel the gift of the Torah, the law of God. Fifty days after Christ's resurrection, on the Feast of Pentecost, God gave his church the great gift of the baptism of the Holy Spirit.